Tell them what we're making for dinner. Uh, chicken tikka masala and green beans. I can't wait to eat it. It's very, very fast and easy. It just takes <laughs> about five minutes to put it in the crock pot. Since I made a little video on hospitality a few weeks back, I have had people asking for my crock pot recipes that I referred to. So I thought it would be fun to show you one of our favorites. It's super easy, it probably takes like five minutes to fill this in the crock pot. And then you let it cook on low for seven to eight hours and shred the chicken up and it's ready to go. So this is chicken tikka masala. I buy these spice packets from Amazon. They come in like a 12 pack. They're like a dollar a piece. I have made stove top before, but I found that throwing it all in the crock pot is easier, it doesn't dirty as many dishes, and it takes way less time. And whenever I make it, I usually multiply the batch about three times over so we can have some leftovers to eat on for a few days. So I just take frozen chicken breasts. Sometimes we'll do less meat. Right now I'm gonna do about three. So I just I just throw the frozen chicken breasts in there. That's a little too low. I just throw the frozen chicken breasts in there. Sometimes we'll do less, sometimes we'll do more. Sometimes we like to have more of the veggies and less of the meat. So I'm just doing one large chicken breast per packet this time. Um, partially because I didn't end up buying more chicken and that's all I had on hand. I just use frozen chicken breast. I keep it in the freezer, it's easy. It's like cut up an onion. Boys, no shouting. We're not shouting. I always try to cut them up fast because I cry like crazy when I'm chopping onions. <laughs> One time Spurgeon lent me his goggles and that actually worked. I put on little swimming goggles and I did not cry. I should use those more often. So I chop up that onion, add that in. Sometimes if I have texted for food preferences and we have a guest who doesn't prefer onions, just use onion powder and that's a way to get the flavor without having chunks of onions. So then from there, I just add in all three of these packets. No MSG, no artificial flavors, just spices. It calls for tomato sauce, but I found that I really like the texture that diced tomatoes give to this curry. So I actually now will do maybe one can of tomato sauce and two cans of diced tomatoes. And I like to get the kind with no salt added just because there's plenty of sodium in our diet these days. We can wash these out and recycle those. So that's it. So we... So we plug this in. So yeah, that's it. We just turn it on low for seven to eight hours. And then just maybe about 30 minutes before it's time to eat. Take two forks and shred the chicken. And then I take a can of coconut milk. And this kind has a lot of like the cream in it. And I dump that in, mix it up. And I use this instead of heavy cream. I think it gives it a better flavor. And it just feels like a little bit healthier than heavy cream. I don't really know if it is or not. <laughs> I just add one. Some people add more, some people add like two. And it's ready to go. It's amazing served over rice. I have a little rice cooker that I'll usually put some brown rice in. It's got a timer on there, so I can even put that on in the morning if I'm going out. Don't have to worry about it. Come home, dinner's ready. A lot of times I'll make like one side to go with it. Maybe I'll make green beans or sometimes we'll warm up some naan bread. I don't make that, I just buy it. So this has been cooking now for about seven to eight hours and I am going to shred the chicken now with a couple of forks. Got my rice cooker going there, making the brown rice. The whole house smells amazing. 
This house smells like tikka masala for like three days. It smells so good. So here's the chicken. Just kind of take it. It just literally shreds super easy with two forks. Now I always cook it on low because otherwise the chicken might get like dried out and tough if you cook it on high. So yeah, low for seven to eight hours is much better than high for four hours because it doesn't always shred like this. That is if you're cooking it from frozen. I suppose if it was fresh, I don't know, it would make a difference, but Just kind of take with the two forks and just kind of work through it. This is just three chicken breasts. Sometimes I'll make a lot more chicken. Um, I probably have done like nine or ten chicken breasts in my bigger crock pot um, with just three or four packets of the seasoning. Sometimes I like to go a little heavier on the veggies and lighter on the meat. It's kind of my preference. Mommy, can I, I, I'm, I'm on the island because if you get in front of there, I can't see in a crop pot. Okay. Or a, That's fine. You can sit there and watch me. I can see something. I can see. Is that tikka masala? It's chicken tikka masala. Ooh, uh, that is good. Tikka and then I add this. See what I mean about this coconut little milk. cream here. Yes, I love coconut milk and pancakes. Mm -hmm. So look at this amount of cream. Like half the can is cream like this. It's just like... And this is just unsweetened. Don't want anything with Daddy, anything added in it. Just mix it in. So once that's mixed in, we just turn it to keep warm, if you have that setting, and let it just keep warm, ready for guests to eat. So we're also going to make for a side for tonight our favorite green beans. Um, just open up a couple of bags of frozen cut green beans from on a tray. I do a little drizzle of olive oil. A little bit of this Bragg's liquid aminos. It's kind of like soy sauce, but healthier. A little garlic and onion powder. Is that onion powder? Mm -hmm. We're almost out of onion powder. Need to buy more of that. I and salt and pepper. <laughs> and the last thing is to sprinkle some real bacon pieces on there, which I did there. Mommy, so I can't good. Wait to eat green beans. Bake that for about 10 minutes on 400 degrees, and it's ready to go. Henry, hop down. How did you even hey. get up there? Come here. Henry, go on the chair, then climbed up. One last thing that I forgot to say, when we serve it, we usually always have a little bowl of cilantro on the side, and people, if they like it, can garnish the top of their dish with that. Spurgeon, do you put cilantro on top of your chicken tikka masala? Um, no. Taste one bite. You don't have to like it, but you do have to try it. Good job. Henry, I'm going to get you a bowl, too, if you're hungry. Yeah. Are you hungry is. yet, or are you still trying to wake up? Spurge, how is it, bud? Good? It's good. I think Henry wants some. He just woke up from his nap. Henry, are you hungry? No. Ivy, is it good? Mmm, uh, yeah. She uh, loves it. It's all over her mouth, all over her face. Please uh, uh, go. Uh, Ivy Jane. 
you tell us how it tastes. Isn't that exciting? Is that good? Is it good? Yes, it is. Henry, how is that chicken? His face says I'm not sure, but his mouth says it's really good. one of our favorite meals. The boys love it. It's not really spicy. Just five ingredients. Super simple. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you try it out. I'd love to know your thoughts or if you figured out any ways to improvise or make it even better. Let me know.